my incredible fellow evacuated Peace Corps volunteers. As a returned Peace Corps volunteer who served in Nicaragua from August of 2016 until I was evacuated in April of 2018 due to civil unrest, I know exactly what you are going through. For the past two years, I've been making videos for prospective, current, and returned Peace Corps volunteers right here on YouTube. But today, I wanna to focus on you, evacuated Peace Corps volunteers. Back in the spring of 2018, my country of service, Nicaragua, was evacuated following five days of national civil unrest. We were evacuated in late April, and we were on administrative hold until mid-June. However, our situation today is a little bit different. We are in the middle of a global pandemic and you all actually have a better chance of returning to your country of service than if we had had, for example, global civil unrest. So I am rooting for you, I believe in you, and I know your service matters. So in today's video, I want to give you five things to do while you wait to return to your country of service or to another country of service to finish your Peace Corps mission. That I want to recommend to you all, and I hope you're already doing this, is stay in contact with your community members in your site. Now, this is something that we in the 21st century as Peace Corps volunteers are able to do, and we're really lucky. Due to phone applications such as WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger, we are actually able to stay in contact with folks in our community, our host country nationals. And this is something that even two years after my service, I have continued to do. Right now, your host country nationals are are probably viewing your country and wondering, are they okay? We have some of the highest death rates in the world and your host country nationals are probably concerned about you. So if you're checking in with them, they'll know that you're okay. And more importantly, they'll know that you still care about them and that you weren't just going to their country just to get that spot on your resume. The second thing that I would like to recommend that you do while you wait to return to your country of service is to continue work with your community members if possible. When I was a volunteer, I worked really hard with three eighth grade teachers to develop a year long curriculum and lesson plan for them to use after I departed, after my two years of service. My first year of service, we worked really hard creating a first draft lesson plan. And in my second year of service, we went back and edited each of those plans one lesson at a time every time we would get together and co-plan. When I was evacuated, and particularly when I still didn't know whether or not I'd be going back to Nicaragua, we actually continued to meet on WhatsApp. We would still meet, the three of them, so lovely, would get together either at one of their homes or in a cafe that had Wi-Fi, and they would contact me, and we would go ahead and lesson plan together. And just like always, basically what I did was, I was kind of like the secretarial position. I had them do the co-planning, right, because the focus is sustainability and then I would basically just be like jotting down their ideas. And I was actually able to co-plan with them to finish out that semester of school, even though I was back here in America. So it's just because you were back here in America doesn't mean that you can't continue to work with your community members. And really that will demonstrate to your community members how much you care about your site and your service and the Peace Corps mission. The third thing that you should absolutely make sure you do while you are here in America is respond to the survey that was sent out by Peace Corps, all prospective Peace Corps volunteers and EPCBs to select one of three options. The first option is to continue with your country of service and wait to see when they reopen. The second one was to relocate to another country. And the third one was to rescind your application or active service altogether from the Peace Corps. So definitely make sure that you have responded to that and indicated what course of action you plan to take. That way, if especially if you want to go back to either your country of service or just to any country of service, that you will be called to service once they actually open up the country again. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I would absolutely contact maybe your country director or, or your DPT or somebody who can get you on the right track. But I know you're all on top of it. I'm hoping most people have already done this. 
fourth thing that you can do while you wait to return to the field is read more about your country of service. Before I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Nicaragua, I actually didn't really do very much research on Nicaragua itself. I felt very overwhelmed by the packing list and just preparing for 27 months abroad, selling my car, finishing my masters, yada yada. So now seeing this as a silver lining, you have time to learn more about your country of service. There are many different publications written by host country nationals from your country of service. Now maybe your language proficiency is a little higher. You can dabble in some literature that maybe you wouldn't have been able to read at the beginning of your service. Maybe you can investigate some works written by return Peace Corps volunteers who served in your country, or even read memoirs of Peace Corps volunteers who served in other countries. Just reading Peace Corps literature in general will help you be better prepared to return to the field when the time comes. Of course, this should go without saying, please do follow the news in your country of service just to see and gauge how they are responding to the COVID-19 pandemic. Do they have a low number of cases, high number of cases? How is their Ministry of Health responding to the pandemic? Stay informed. The fifth thing that I would like all of you to do and also realize is a silver lining is once Peace Corps opens up again, you will have the opportunity to essentially press the restart button on your service altogether and change your mindset. A lot of times as Peace Corps volunteers, we can get into kind of a rut, right? We talk about the cycle of adjustment in Peace Corps, right? The ups and downs that are completely natural to being a Peace Corps volunteer. Now is the time for you to reevaluate the goals that you made or the different projects that you were reporting on in your VRF and think about how you would like to return to the field. Maybe there was a community English class that you'd actually never got to run when you were there the first time. Maybe you wanted to do an HIV AIDS training and you never got around to doing it. Think about the things that you want to do once you have the opportunity to return to service. This is actually a wonderful time for you to brainstorm and maximize your potential as a Peace Corps volunteer once you have the opportunity to return to the field. All right, folks, those are the five things that I'd like you to focus on while you are waiting to return out into the field. The five things I want you to do is to stay in touch with community members, continue working with community members, respond to that Peace Corps survey, or read more about your country of service, and five, plan your goals for when you return. All right, folks, if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a like and subscribe to this channel if you would like to get more videos like this one. Until next time, stay safe and healthy. Oh, 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 oh,